back. We're on a second trip actually after we've uh, done this lockdown. Uh, we went to Southport, we've been to Southport before, so we didn't really film it and we just wanted to get out and try new van and so we did, we kind of just did film up to be fair. I'm going to coin a phrase now, remember you've heard it here first, it's called TSB. Thumbs, subscribe and bell. I thought it was a bank. What? It is a bank. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bank. TSB have coin phrase for YouTube, thumbs, subscribe and bell. <laughs> so there you go, we're on his way now to Maryport, we stopped off at... Uh, but we don't take Castle. money. We don't what? We don't take money. I don't. <laughs> if you want to give me some money, send me as much as you want. No. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, also, we stopped off at Barnard and there's a bit of video that you'll see at some point in here. Uh, we, we've done it. We're literally about, uh, what, 20 miles out, Joe? Yeah. So, welcome back and we'll uh, get a bit more of a tour in a bit. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome. We're here today on his second trip out at the Redwell Hill in Well. Uh, staff were absolutely brilliant. They've even asked us this morning if we want to come in, we can knock on door and they'll make a breakfast and fetch it to the van. You can see there's three motorhomes. We're there in the middle. We've got Van Tell with us. John's there at window putting a makeup up. Up, in, out, whatever. We've got a lovely little caravan site to the side. Tell us if we knock on door at 10 o'clock, we can have a breakfast. I think that's a private site as well. I don't think the two. You can't go in there by the way. You can see you just go through there. Nice little campsite. Big car park. I don't know how many they'll actually allow in here. <clears throat> I know there'll be quite a few. Landlady, it's an hotel as well. Landlady, we're absolutely brilliant. No issues at all. Parked us up. Even give us some menus. As you're going to see, they're applying to all COVID regulations. And there you go. So, this is a Redwell Inn at Barnard Castle. Don't know what that big place is, the across road. It's just a great big factory, GSK or something. Right, we're on to his next tour and stop now. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Al's still in bed. This is Al's self, self build. He's doing an absolutely brilliant job on it. As you can see, no expense spared. Everything's been absolutely perfect on it. He's built it all himself. I'm going to link it in the description below. Uh, His uh, build channel where he's been building bits. But you can see it's absolutely brilliant. He's done a really good job. I'll put a link in, link in, in the description below so you can go and look at his Facebook uh, videos he's been making himself. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see.
now going in back at Arbor. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Are you only yeah, it is, yeah. It's absolutely lovely today up here. Ben Riff. In the distance. Isle of Man, you'll not see it down here this camera though. I don't know what power station that is. As you can see. Island at Beverly Beach. Looks like there's some fishermen out today. This bit's absolutely lovely as you can see, you probably get about 25 motorhomes on here easily. It's all free, you just pull up, park up. I don't think there's any issues, fishermen over there. Security might be a problem, that's about it, but top and bottom on it. It's quite nice, like I say, it's quite flat. Really nice. Right, I will be doing a review on this. Bloody birds everywhere, they're cheaping like mad. But I've noticed on these new on this new van around, these ones here, these are like a silver on back, where these ones are white on the reverse screens. And we've, we've had them on, and it's hard to see, but they are silver. And there's less condensation. Usually this window would be at, well, face aches here, but you normally would have loads of condensation. All it, We've got, still got a bit, but it'd be all the window, it'd be wet through. Uh, but these are like a silver on front, but the white on rest of it, man. Here's the see it. Makeup on, fold out. Television on. It is half past eight on Saturday morning. But you can see there's none at all. It's, they're actually quite good. These are actually even better, to be fair, but they're inside habitation where we've had them closed on at night. And you do get a bit of damp, but a quick wipe on them and we'll be finished. Right. I will be doing, like I said, a van tour later on. See you in a bit, bye-bye. As you can see from inside, it's got a material finish, this, and it's white. Uh, the one on that door is actually a plasticky finish, different finishes on them. But the ones I was showing you here, you see these are like a material finish as well. I think they've changed them for new vans to like a thermal one in front. And there's still the plasticky ones inside, which I don't know, it looks like it could be working to be fair. We're on our way home, miserable weather, raining, bank holiday Monday. But we've had a nice weekend, something different. Started off at 
Barnard Castle for a pub stopover on Friday. Then on Saturday we went to Maryport, which was really nice. And then on Sunday we went to Bowness at Lake Windermere, and that was really lovely as well. Bowness. 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 Um, it was a laugh though to see all young'uns parked up in the cars of a night with plastic bags round windows to keep them warm and it were warm celsius as well and so it was it were really really cold and there were lots I bet there were about 10 cars weren't there um, yeah so we normally park in the car park um, but they've stopped it with the motorhomes but they've um, given us nice places to stop and there were one um, car park near Caravan and camping, club side. Yeah, caravan and camping. Um, yeah. Anyone nice? Um, you pay eight pound for a day, and then it's ten pound for each night that you stop, sort of thing. So. It's a council one of those. Council car park. Council car park. Like Earl's just said. But yeah, it says it's too tired to talk today. 